All right, Ben. Now to the other breaking story we're following at this hour. After a 21 day work stoppage on Michigan road projects, road builders say they're restarting construction with non union equipment operators. Business editor Rob Maloney live with more. And this comes right after there had been a lot of optimism about talks with the governor, but those all fell apart. Well, you know, look, the, the operating engineers and the contractors have agreed on nothing since back in June. And so it's not a surprise that when the governor calls him into the same room, they still can't get along. But the governor's more concerned about what happens out here on the roads. And so the solution they've come up with is the one that we pretty much expected. The contractor is going after non-union temporary help. Local 4 News confirmed this afternoon with the Michigan Infrastructure Transportation Association, the contractors, that they will begin bringing in out-of-state operating engineers using a headhunter service that deals explicitly and exclusively with labor disputes. Temporary engineers will be brought in, but the contractors admit they can't fill all 1,500 jobs, so they'll funnel those they can get into the major projects like I-75 here and I-696. It's the labor dispute and disaster that no one saw coming. After 80 years, the operating engineers want a new path and the governor isn't pleased with the result silent big equipment Snyder sat down with the warring parties this morning and held a midday news conference to show his dismay our public is not going to be happy about this I'm not happy uh, this is not a good situation so what I would say is is I'll be looking at continuing action as we review options and to be open I'm most likely to go to them to let them know here's the consequences of a failure to make progress. Labor law being as complex as it is the governor can't declare an emergency but he can call in the National Guard and he's ready to do so but it won't be to work this equipment that's quite literally boarded up. How we could potentially use the National Guard on some critical projects it wouldn't be the same as typical construction but could they help button up or get some in a better spot than they are today to looking at legal options. Now, contractors have other non-union subcontractors that they've already started bringing in. They're going to be doing things like saw cutting, and you might actually see some of that, that activity in the next day or so. These are going to be temporary workers filling in these seats. In the meantime, got a hold of the operating engineers. They say the governor asked them not to say anything, so they're not talking. Back to you. Well, Rod, you've got construction deadlines, and on one side of them, you've got bonuses. On the other side, you've got fines. What are they going to do about those? Well, you know, the state is still trying to figure out what to do, and the MIDA people are telling us that they're going to be dealing with that on a contract-by-contract contract basis. But you'd best bet that the uh, the big projects like 696 and 75 yeah. will get the most attention because that's likely where the big bonus money is if they can bring it in on top. Yeah, boy. All right, Rod.